Greetings, Pastor Mike here from Community Congregational Church in Southern Pines, North Carolina. Today I'm in front of Raven Pottery. Uh, there's a lot of scriptural references to pottery. In fact, in, in Jeremiah chapter 18, it says, The word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Come, go down to the potter's house, and there I will let you hear my words. And then Jeremiah says right away, So I went to the potter's house, and there he was working at his wheel. The vessel he was making of clay was spoiled in the potter's hand. He reworked it into another vessel as seemed good to him. And then the prophet continues and says, And then the word came to me, Can I, do, can I not do with you, O house of Israel, just as this potter has done? Just like the clay in the potter's hand, so, you, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. And then also the prophet Isaiah talks about pottery, and he says, you, O oh Lord, you are our Father, we are the clay, you are the potter, we are all the work of your hand. I don't know how many of you have ever seen a, a potter at work. If you get a chance to, I encourage you to go do that. I also, I'm going to show you a video of it here, but go see it for yourself, it's incredible. The other thing I would encourage you to do is to try it yourself, to see how difficult it really is. They, they, they make it look really easy. But it's extremely difficult it requires a lot of patience maybe that's my problem but uh, the other part about pottery is david hopkins the professor i speak about he was the archaeology professor he he was the one that led the, the trip i took to israel and jordan he talked about pottery in an amazing way he said when the vessel is, is whole it's one of the most fragile things you bump it it breaks but once it's broken the pieces are indestructible and last forever we find a lot of pottery shards on an archaeological dig, and I have several in my office that I dug up in Jordan. But it's incredible how fragile it is. But the main message is that we are clay in the potter's hands. And in the video, you see it starts with just a formless lump, and it's and it's formed into something amazing. And that's what God is doing with each and every one of us. That's the the struggles we go through uh, form us, shape us, and mold us into who God wants us to be. And uh, take heart in that. And uh, hang in there be knowing that you're clay in the hands of the potter. Let's bow in a word of prayer. Gracious God, we thank you that we are clay in such a skilled hand as yours. And Lord, help us to realize that. Help us to realize that even some of the struggles we go through, they're you forming us, shaping us, and, and, and turning our wheel, so to speak. And we thank you for that in Jesus' precious name. Hey, stay Amen. safe, everybody. Stay healthy. Be kind. Clay in the potter's hand. Love you.